Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show, and let me tell you about what are my most anticipated video games of this year, 2021. I'm excited for and anticipating Resident Evil Village, Little Nightmares 2, The Medium, Back for Blood, Deathloop, Kena, Bridge of Spirits. God, Kena Bridge of Spirits actually looks really fucking good. I can't wait for that game. And last but certainly not least, my most anticipated game of the year 2021, Outriders. I'm not gonna bullshit you. I'm really excited for, I'm really hyped for this game. And I think you all should be too. I honestly believe that Outriders has the potential to be my game of the year 2021, and possibly one of my new favorite video games of all time. And I haven't even played it yet, and I'm already very sure of that. But why do I have so much confidence in this game? Why am I so excited for it? Let me tell you why. First off, Outriders is being developed by People Can Fly, who previously made Painkiller, Gears of War Judgment, and Bulletstorm. These devs have literally never made a bad video game. All they've ever made is shooters, really solid shooters, and Outriders is a third-person shooter, so you know the gunplay, the gameplay, the combat is gonna be solid. I have no doubt in my mind about that, just watching the gameplay, just watching the gameplay footage, the shooting, the gunplay, the combat looks like a ton of fun. Now yes, Outriders is a looter shooter RPG. But it is not, I repeat, it is not a live service looter shooter like Destiny or The Division, it's more like Borderlands, or Remnant from the Ashes. A third person looter shooter RPG that can be played in single player or drop in, drop out co-op. It is not always online. You do not need a constant connection to the internet to play this game. So for those of you who like the idea of playing a looter shooter, but don't like the live service model in a video game, then you need to check out Outriders. Now, I could go on and on about how I think the gameplay looks great. It looks fun. I think the character and creature designs, the weapon designs look fucking badass. They look awesome. I think the four different playable classes with all their superpowers and abilities look awesome, look like a ton of fun. I think the game's sci-fi story and premise are interesting and cool. I could just go in detail, point by point, how I just like everything I see about Outriders. It looks like the kind of game that appeals to me. But that's not what has me so excited for this game. That's not what has me so confident in the quality of this game. It's how the developers People Can Fly have been so transparent and aware of the criticism surrounding the live service looter shooter genre. People Can Fly seems to have actually listened to the criticism games like Destiny and The Division and Warframe and Anthem received over the years. It seems like People Can Fly have observed this genre, the live service looter shooter, seen all the mistakes, all the failings, and gone, hey, why don't we do this, but do it right? Let's avoid all the mistakes all these other developers made with their games. Let's learn from history, let's learn from the past, and do it right, do it properly. Have an engaging and fleshed out story with deep lore and world building at launch. Let's have interesting and cool loot that you want to farm and grind for at launch. Let's not half-ass the end game at launch, actually have something developed and fleshed out that isn't recycled content. Let's not make our game a live service that requires a constant connection to the internet and a reliance on servers, which, as live service looter shooter games have proven time and time again, do not go over well at launch. This is just amazing. It's truly amazing. People Can Fly is showing intelligence, moxie, Self-awareness! They're self-aware! Where so many other video game developers appear to live in, a, live in a bubble, live in an echo chamber, where the rest of the industry doesn't exist, and so they keep making the same mistakes that so many other developers keep making over and over again. People can fly, have actually been paying attention. They've been paying attention! On top of all of that, Outriders, this month, February, on the 25th, they're releasing a free demo. And this is a classic demo. This isn't a beta. This isn't some limited time playtesting session. No, no, this is a classical demo that you can download and play and keep for completely free. A true demo, a classic demo. You bet your ass I'm going to be making a video on that. Now, everything I've laid out so far sounds pretty great, eh? But what if I told you? What if I told you? It gets even better. Outriders is launching with full crossplay support, meaning gamers on PC Xbox and PlayStation can all play together in co-op. So if you got a friend who picks up Outriders on a different platform than you, doesn't matter. You can still play together. Like, how else do I put it? 
Outriders is literally doing everything right. The developers are being completely transparent. The game is shipping with a ton of features that players actually want at launch. It's a looter shooter with actually desirable loot. It's not a live service, as so many hardcore gamers have decried that they're tired of. It has a classic free demo so you can try out the game before making a purchase. You can see if you like the base gameplay before setting down any cash. Yes! Just yes! All the yes! I want to support this business model. This is the kind of behavior and actions I want to see taken by my AAA video game developers. Learning from your competition, being actually transparent with your player base, being genuinely pro-consumer, not some faux, we're one of the good guys act, <laughs> CD Projekt Red. So far, Outriders appears to be the video game we've all been waiting for, the game we dreamed of since the original Destiny was revealed and hyped up almost a decade ago. A game that truly fucking innovates and improves what Borderlands started. The ideal looter shooter. However, with all that being said, and while I cannot hide my bias, and the fact that I am genuinely anticipating and excited for Outriders that's my most anticipated video game of the year 2021, I have to be logical, I have to be reasonable, I have to be realistic. We could all be hoodwinked, backstabbed, and quite possibly bamboozled yet again. I simply cannot ignore the history of the looter shooter genre. While Outriders appears to be doing so many things right, for all we know when the game launches it could be a poorly optimized, buggy, broken mess. Granted, to counteract that, we are getting a free demo, and this isn't an always online live service. Like I said earlier, the game Outriders and its developer People Can Fly seem to be playing all the right cards, but there's nothing wrong with maintaining a modicum of skepticism and caution as to the state of the game and its quality at launch. Now I'm rooting for Outriders. I want a happy-go-lucky success story here. I want a new great fun video game to play. I want Outriders and People Can Fly to show the rest of the industry how it's done, how you make a looter shooter. So while I will still be a wee bit skeptical, a wee bit cautious, I can't help but be optimistic and excited and hyped. For Outriders. Even if there is some surprise bullshit that comes with the game at launch, the game still, regardless, looks like a ton of fun to play. Like the variety on offer with all the different playable classes, the replayability, how the superpowers and the guns look so powerful and impactful and killing enemies. It's so bloody and gory. It just, it looks like a good time. Outriders looks like so much fun. I am a sucker for violent and flashy gameplay. And Outriders looks like it's going to be delivering on that in spades. I'm very much looking forward to playing this game in single player and in co-op with friends. Stay tuned for my upcoming video where I will share my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the soon-to-be-released Outriders demo. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the like button helps you. Helps me. Helps everybody involved the video. If you hit the like button, please leave a comment in the comments down below. Or loving comments, get enough comments, please leave a comment. If you want to and support this video, please share it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. If you want to and support me directly, well, there's always Ko-Fi and Patreon. Anyways, guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later.